Hi, fishy folks, and happy Sunday Fun Day. In today's video, pond updates. Dun, dun, dun. All right, that was me trying to build excitement. So uh, in the first pond, the hot pink pond we have here, uh, we have some grass guppies, blue and red grass guppies, and no babies. At least there weren't any babies this morning. I did put some flake food in this morning looking for uh, babies and making sure everybody's okay. I did see a bunch of adults, so, and there's the male. No babies yet, though. Um, hopefully soon, because in this tub, we have cobra guppies, and you can see there are babies. I saw about a thousand of them yesterday. No, I mean, I saw a, quite a few yesterday. And also, uh, I did put flake food in here as well. Um, I don't normally feed my ponds, but you know, if I'm outside and or I'm feeding my uh, angelfish tank that's upstairs and I have food, I may just you know come out here when I check and drop some flake in here. Looks like I put a lot of flake in here because it was about 45 minutes ago, but you can see there are some babies in there. So, guppy pond number two is producing. Um, that's a really nice cobra guppy male I used. All right. Here's another pond, which we'll talk about later. And here's the uh, Clarion tub, as we'll call it. Clarion. Clarion is a company that makes audio units for uh, uh, automobile manufacturers. Audio, not auto units, if I, whatever I said. These guys are the uh, red, white, and blue American guppies. Just trying them out here. No fry yet. Um, this, this tub only has some Java moss some water sprite and rickia and uh, looks like there's two or three pieces of duckweed so sometime tomorrow this will be completely covered with duckweed all right folks here is a new tub it's a 10 gallon tub it's uh, a little more a little less than half the size of the hot pink tubs uh these are 18 gallons this is only 10 if you quickly do the math a little less a little more a little less a little less than half i had to quickly do the math in my head as i was speaking um, I couldn't find those bigger tubs, uh, so I bought this one. So we're going to try it out. Um, it was like five bucks at ShopRite, which is a grocery store chain near me, up and down the East Coast maybe, or at least in the metropolitan New York metropolitan area and South. So uh, let me show you how I go ahead and uh, make a pond. All right, guys, stand by. Well, first things first, you gotta fill it with water. I take water right from my hose. Why? Because that's the water my fish are used to. Some people say, how are your guppies so hardy? It's because I don't baby them. I use regular tap water. Sometimes the water has a little bit of nitrates in it. Or nitrites. Whichever one, I can't remember. I'm just teasing. Nitrites. Nitrates are okay. Sometimes high nitrates, actually. I've, I've tested water when I used to test water, which I don't think I've tested water in well over a year. Uh, I've had it at 80 parts per million nitrates, which most people will say is bad. And yeah, it probably is, but you know what? My fish were fine. All right, I'm gonna go shut the water off. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, I shut the water off. It's a little high. I have to drill some, some holes down here, like I did in the other ones. You can see there's a hole right there. Right there. Uh, and this way, as it rains and the tubs fill up, water will spill out without overflowing. Um, and hopefully, if we get a big storm, we won't lose any fish on the ground. That's the plan, Stan. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, in the fish room, trying to decide what guppies I want to put outside in that fourth tub. I think I'm gonna go with the red dragon guppies. Uh, I have quite a few plump females, and you can see how the males are progressing. Uh, the dorsal fins are bigger. They're not quite dumbbells, but they are bigger, and they're black, so they look bigger. They're more prominent. So I think I'm going to grab uh, maybe one young male and a couple of plump females and drop them in that tub outside. That's right, fishy folks. No acclimation. Boom! Right in the tub. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, here we have in the viewer a poop ton of java moss. 
This is Michael's fish rooms, Java moss. Yeah, it's just regular Java moss. Some floating plants that I don't really know what they are. Uh, there's, I think, a pair of guppies in there. I couldn't get the big fat female. She, uh, I thought I had her in the net and she outsmarted me. And, uh, cause I like to use a small net and I missed her and then the tank got all cloudy from, you know, stirring things up. So I'm gonna let that tank settle and I might try to grab her before she drops in the tank because I think she's, she's hiding because she's ready to drop. If I can grab her and bring her out here and have her drop out here, that would be better. But uh, I think, like I said, I think there's a trio in there and we'll see how it goes. So here we go, folks. Boom, plopped. Now, what we are gonna do is kind of spread out the Java moss a little bit. The water is spilling all over the place because I overfilled it. And uh, there, that's it, folks. That's all she wrote. Just gotta drill some holes, and uh, yeah, we'll be good out here. So let's uh, let's see what we can do. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. Holes are drilled. Fish are in. Water's in, and cover for the fryer in. So uh, maybe another time I'll catch that other fat female. Uh, the tank was still pretty cloudy when I went to go check a few minutes ago. So that's the pond update for today. Uh, four guppy ponds back here. Swordtail update coming later this week. Don't forget to check out Michael's Fish Room.com to buy all the cool guppies you see here.